Hey Galaxies, it's Tia and I'm back at you with a brand new video. And this video is about what I do during a week in my life. As you guys know, I'm a content creator and I have a background in, sounds like a job interview, what am I doing? But I have a background in like website design, video editing, graphic design, I like to do writing, I just like to create content and do multimedia-ish stuff. That's what makes me happy. And my day-to-day -day and week-to-week -week changes always, it's always different, but this is what I do in like, this is just a week, this is just a week out of many weeks that I do things. So if you're new here, I shuffle. I basically went to my old middle school, Common Valley Middle School, shout it out, hello, and I taught a bunch of 11 year olds how to shuffle. And they were so good at it. I think it helped that people knew what Fortnite was and apparently Fortnite has like popularized shuffling and industrial dancing and things that literally nobody knew about and nobody cared about. I taught two classes and I met up with old t-shirts and it was very nostalgic, very nostalgic indeed. All right, so the Tuesday, oh, Tuesday, there was rain. Tuesday is my editing day. I decided to go to a cafe shop to edit. I usually approach editing two different ways. Either I do multiple videos and I edit a basic audio cut first, ums and uhs and all my stuttering is out of the video and I do that for like three videos at the same time. Or I'll just do one video and I'll just like, Boom, boom, boom. Like honestly, editing takes 5,000 hours. It takes a long time. On the Wednesday, which is my writing day, I actually decided to go to Sherry Gardens as it has this beautiful bookstore. And I just got some writing done. Eventually in the summer, when I build up enough courage to finally start writing the novel book that I've had in my mind since I was like a teenager, I'm gonna come here to just write and work on my novel and just be inspired by the other like young adult books around me because I really want to write like a dystopian fantasy novel. Something dope. Something really really cool. I've had this idea stirring in my brain for so long. Thursday I basically met up with my sister Tasha and we both have blogs that we were working on. So her blog is gonna be launching soon in like May-ish I think. It's gonna be awesome. It's about cultures and stuff and we love different cultures here. We are about that life, you know, we're all about appreciating everyone's cultures. We tried this new pop-up food market thingy in Toronto. Like, they seem like to be homemade tacos. Okay. What does it taste like? Okay, I need some spice. Okay, these 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 thingies taste like actual tortillas. Tortillas? Yeah, they don't they don't taste whole like whole wheat. Oh, okay, they actually taste like the proper ones. It's spaghetti, so it's gonna look messy. Oh, it's spaghetti! Oh, and also we stopped by a comic book store, which used to be called Labyrinth, and now it's called something else. Yeah, it was just nice to go hang around manga and comics and unleash that inner geekiness out of you. <laughs> and just be surrounded by my favorite art book. There's these really beautiful After the Last Airbender comic books there and Legend of Core art book. Things that I do not own that I really, really want to own. And then on Friday, was my get my life together day. So that day I usually like clean up, digital decluttering, like organizing, deleting files. This Friday I actually happened to be meeting my friend during the day. So we went to this bubble tea shop in Toronto and yeah, it was just like to catch up with her because I haven't seen her in a long time. And you know, life gets busy. I'm here at Air, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a cool place. Did I say YouTube filming day? It's a, not a YouTube filming day today. Today is a, yeah. today is a get your life together day. Where you just fill in the gaps and you get things done. And hang out with Ariel and drink a little more. Once a, yeah, or more than once a month. My summer schedule is like, I'm only... 
Okay, and then after that, on Friday nights, I usually go to my Bible study group called Mustard Seed, and I meet them downtown at my university, my old university. So we basically just chat and we hang out and we talk about God. We study a part of the Bible and then we head home really late at night usually. Usually it's like, I get home at like 11.30, but by that time it's like, oh my gosh, can you believe it? Saturday is my deep relaxation day. It is the Sabbath for me, so I basically just like do Jesus thingies basically. So I just chill, I relax, I reflect, I do all day, you know, flexing, reflecting. I read books, read up on them books. I walk my dog, I take an extra long walk my dog, cook a meal, simple things. Anyways, and then on the Sunday is creativity day. I'm on the day. I like to do creative things, okay? So this is more like thinking of like short film projects I want to do. And on this Sunday though, apart from like planning, uploading my video, I finally finished this day off with going to see Tori Kelly in concert. Yes, I used to be terrified of going to concerts. That's another story for a different time. But yeah, Tori Kelly came to Toronto. I saw her in concert. I honestly got into Tori Kelly because, oh God, because Amber Lou, yes, she is a fan of Tori Kelly. And when she mentioned it during one of her bazillion videos on YouTube, I was like, Tori Kelly, I know Tori Kelly, okay? And then I listened to Tori Kelly and then she released this amazing gospel album. And then I was like in love with the gospel album. And I was like, yo, Masterpiece is a hit, okay? So I started listening to that song. And the next thing you know, I'm down the Tori Kelly rabbit hole and I'm going to see her concert. <laughs> Thompson Hall. I got to meet up with some people I haven't seen in a very long time. We had food. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> yes, awesome. Yeah, hello. We are at the, we just finished the Tori Kelly oh, yeah. How was Tori? She was, I don't know if she was a YouTuber. Was I'm such a new, camera. it is the best camera. Uh, but she, I, I'm such a new fan, but like the concert was amazing. So we're leaving the concert. Yes, how was Honestly? it? Yes. It was exceed my expectations. Like it's, I was up here in the feet, like finished by like an hour. My girl went two plus hours. I don't even know what time it is right now. Singing. I was on my phone. I'm like, how can you sing for that long? Like how can you sing for that long? Honestly, I was not ready. And her voice, flawless. <laughs> I I was drifting to sleep because not no because I thought it was Spotify. I thought I was I thought I was listening to like a recording. Yeah, it was like it was perfect. Like, her voice she sounds like an angel. Like, literally like her album. with honey and sugar mixed in. Like, oh. and you, you know her dad, her grandfather's half Jamaican. She had black? She's basically like, black! Oh, like, oh my girl, she said she had Jamaican. I was, like, I was well, black queen. I mean, that's what plays the curly hair. I know. I was I like, she's got something, something about her. Like, something, something about her has a bit of a black like, I, I, knew, I knew it. I knew it. I'm like, she's, she's got some Jamaican like, in her. I'm so happy. <laughs> Caribbean pride. Anyways, it was great. <laughs> it was great. I, I, I was blown away. Oh, 
and she's so okay after like like knowing her backstory i glad she explained it too as well at the concert but like knowing her backstory i was like oh my gosh it was so <laughs> And it's good. Like I'm gonna, I need to like download all her like yeah. YouTube originals now because, start. because whoa, I feel that. Anyways, so that's the end of the night, that and I, she's fangirling still. I, can't I don't blame it. her. Black Queen Tori. I'm kidding. No, what? <laughs> don't put that in. She's got 0.02 percent. <laughs> but I'm still claiming it. Okay, you so, we're, we're claiming her curly, oh the little curl God. she has. Yes, the little melanin. And honestly, I just. She's a good human being. She's a good, she's a good human. Being. She's solid. Like she's such a gentle spirit. She's, a, she's like the she's the person I'd want to be. Like, you know? She's 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 it. She's she's dope. Love you, Tori. If you see this, she she will. But like, love you. All right. So leave a comment below about what do you do in a week? What do you do? Like, when do you, like, when do you watch my videos? Like, who else do you watch on YouTube? What do you do for your life, okay? Like, I want to know. What's your profession? What are you studying in school? What, do you, what is your life? Tell me. I want to know everything about you, okay? So, yeah. So, I'll see you in another video because I've got a lot of fun videos planned. So, stay tuned. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And these are the featured galaxies of the video. Yes, they're so awesome. A magical galaxy is here. Yeah, like my jingle. My jingle was great. Okay, so basically that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I hope life is good for you. If it's not, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's the video. Have a good one. Good night. Goodbye. Sign out. We're gone. <laughs>